Hashtag, Hashtag we, we are movie club. club. Hi guys, it's Charlie, and welcome to a We Are Movie Club review. And this week was my turn, and I picked the 2009 film Surrogate, starring Bruce Willis and Rod Mitchell. Although there are some people in this that I actually recognise the names of, James Cromwell probably being the most significant. And in this film, we have it's kind of a future America where humans essentially stay at home in big chairs because they're replaced by these surrogate robots, essentially. It's a designed to take out the dangers of everyday life by getting a robot to do what you would do, and you're kind of running it through, through your mind, sort of as a, almost like a giant Oculus Rift-type virtual reality-related thing. Um, but the problem is that because these robots have taken sort of every element of life, there's a small group of people that don't want them, and to be honest, I'm inclined to agree, but they're really marginalised and pushed to the edge of society. But when something happens to one of these surrogates that makes the robot blow up and has such an effect that it kills the human link to it as well, that you get Willis's character, who is like a, a, it's not really a police officer, so police secret agent, that type of thing. Either way, he's he gets involved in the investigation and gets so deeper and deeper into it to the point where he almost gets killed himself and then has to actually deal with the real world as his human in, in his human form. And he finds it a very jarring experience. And at this point is when his sort of co his colleague tends, starts to go a bit rogue as her surrogate is kind of interfered with and very nearly ends up blowing up the entirety of them and it's only with the last second intervention that every well, all the humans are safe but the surrogates are kind of almost wiped out and you end the film with this this kind of realisation that we're going to have to live as humans almost on our own which is actually an interesting way to end the film and it kind of opens it up for future films but I'm not sure if any have even been rumoured so I'm not going to talk about that um, visually, and if I'm setting myself up for a fall here, I apologise, but the effects are actually really good. I did like the the computerised effects of the robots sort of moving and jumping. There's a few kind of action scenes which are done really well. And the surrogates, whether there's any effects on them or not really, they all look really good and they, they do look lifelike, but at the same time you still believe that they are robots, which I suppose is the desired effect. Um, Again, so yeah, the visuals are pretty good. Characters are, they're all right. They're just, I don't know, they seem a bit rigid, you know. It's a Bruce Willis film, so Bruce Willis is in the role you'd expect him to be, you know, the kind of action hero who's, well, I don't know, almost trying to get on with just his life. I mean, weeks and weeks and weeks ago, we did a We Are Movie review for The Fifth Element, which had Bruce Willis in it. And again, character just trying to get on with his life, but ends up taking the massive action hero role. So, you know, it's a bit repetitive. And, I don't know, I just got the feeling that this was a very glorified episode of the X-Files. It was that kind of, these two, the male and female leads, who are in the whole kind of police, or at least the law-related environment, up against their boss, who is quite clearly has a different motive or vested interest. And it's just, I don't know, it just seemed very similar. It wouldn't have looked too out of place as an X-Files film. But, having said that, it's pretty okay. If you haven't seen it and you want to, then yeah, by all means go. Um, I don't know, I would recommend it, because it's just, I don't know, it does feel a bit hollow and empty, so it wouldn't be at the top of my list of films to watch. I mean, the only reason I picked it was because it was on my list of things I wanted to watch, and it just seemed like a convenient thing to do, and it was a bit empty, as far as I'm concerned. However, don't let me stop you. But this was a review for We Are Movie Club. As I said, this week was me. Next week we're back to Camerai. And can you guess what he's picked? Season 5 of Red vs. Blue. If you haven't seen the first four, I would probably recommend watching them first if you've got the time. Or if you haven't seen it in a while, then, you know, feel free to go back to it. But um, four wasn't brilliant, so I'm hoping five is a bit better. So if you want to watch along with us, do feel free. All you've got to do is watch the pick. Um, film yourself. I'm doing this in my bedroom, so you can do it wherever you like. Um, just film it, upload it to YouTube with We Are Movie Club. Well, wherever you like, in the title, description, whatever, so we can find it and we can have a look. 
and you know just try and carry on build with the community and we'll see what happens so that's what I've really got I'm starting to ramble a bit now thank you for watching